okay guys who am I not doing long nails I have no idea but today I am just going to be doing acrylic on my natural like an acrylic overlay on my natural nails I ripped off my last set I know I should not be doing that it's not good for my nails but I did it and honestly I just really did not feel like taking the time to do a new set I just I just didn't feel like it so but I still want my nails to be nice looking and strong since I did rip them off and they feel a little thin right now. And that's why there is some remaining polish and acrylic on my nails. So what I'm doing right now, I like to really prep my nails really well so and around my cuticles. So I'm just kind of pushing back my cuticles a little bit and then I'm going to take the same e-file that I've been using forever. It's like $20. Um, I'm going to take that with this little skinny little tip and I'm going to go around my cuticle one, once or twice, no more than twice, just to remove anything dead and kind of push it back a little further. And it's on the lowest setting and these tips actually come with this e-file as well. I feel like when you take the time to really clean around and clean up the cuticle area and just really prep really well they last a lot longer I feel like that's what they don't do when you go to normal nail shops um so and then I'm going to take this sanding band and you kind of want to switch it to a new one I only use this on myself but just switch it to a new one every time you do it I it kind of grosses me out now that I think that every time I would go to a nail shop and they never did that knowing how many people they've used it on anyway so I just put a new one on and then I'm going to just again go slightly maybe once maybe twice around my cuticle just to kind of it will take off all the stuff that I kind of lifted already and then I just go over it once very lightly over my whole nail just to remove any shine and any leftover acrylic just to make it smooth any leftover acrylic I have or polish or whatever just to make it smooth I again I'm going very lightly lowest speed just because I did remove my nails the day before I did this and then I'm going to take some cuticle cutters and remove anything that the e-file didn't get then moving on to primer, I'm going to prime each one of my nails and everything I ha I use will be linked and listed in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out or you can check out my Amazon page. Everything is super affordable and I'm still going back to the same brush that I got. I'm kind of just getting everything set up. So again, I didn't know I was going to do this when I took off my nails. I did not know I was going to just put an acrylic overlay. So I cut my natural nails super short. But if you wanted to do them a little bit longer and give you some more length, you can add these little stickers, extender things. I'm not sure what they're called, but you can do that. I, again, just really didn't even feel like doing that. So I'm literally just putting the acrylic on my natural nail, which is going to make it stronger and look a lot nicer. And then this happened. <laughs> I was trying to be fancy and show the acrylic and the brand, but then that happened and I completely forgot to show the brand. So I will link it in the description box. I'm not sure the name of this one. It, it has like a number on it, so I'm not sure the exact color, but it's just kind of like a nude pink color. So what I did was I just added like, I guess a bead, a thinner bead to the bottom tip and kind of just left it towards the end and let it you know do its thing form to my nail and then clean up the sides i didn't want to go too thick because i am going to put a clear acrylic over it a thin layer so i'm just adding it to the bottom kind of thin and then i'm going to take another bead of acrylic and apply it to closest to my cuticle and just kind of blend that and again, I don't want it too thick because I do want to put a clear on top. This was honestly so fast to do and you probably even, if you wanted to save even more time, just don't add a colored acrylic. Just go straight in with the clear acrylic. So you just have to do basically one set of acrylic and then you can just paint it whatever color you want. But yeah, it took, it was so fast to do it this way as opposed to my long nails and they're much stronger and they look a lot nicer.
So after I was done with the acrylic, I'm just taking a nail file, really don't need to, but I'm taking a nail file just to make sure nothing, none of the acrylic is stuck to my actual skin and kind of just shape it just a little bit. But my nails are so short that I really don't need to do much. I just want to make sure it's not sticking to my skin. So when I go in with the e-file next, I don't kind of cut myself and it's a lot easier. So then I'm going to go back in with the e-file and I'm just going to use the brown sanding band because this just works best for me and I feel like I don't cut myself and it's just easier. Um, I'm just, again, this is where I kind of saved the most time because I really didn't have to do that much filing. I just wanted to make sure they were smooth and it was clean around the cuticle. So I'm going around, again, maybe once, twice around my cuticle with the tip of the the brown sanding band and then I'm just gonna go over my whole nail back and forth just to make sure it's flat and smooth and there's no like lumps or bumps and it just looks even. Then I went back in with the regular file and I just did the tips just to make sure whatever shape you want but I just kind of did them kind of straight and then rounded them out at the end just the way my natural nail kind of goes I guess just making them straight and making sure they're not sharp or anything. You know just basically shaping them and then I went in with the beetles top it off top coat it's just basically a clear gel top coat and then I cured them for 60 seconds and I was done. I might miss and want to go back to my long nails in about a week, but that's okay because I think they came out pretty cute.